Hi right, everyone, just top notch print, top notch printing coming at you. Um, I'm just going to do a video for you guys on a personal monthly budget. Just some numbers that I threw in there. Um, I got it off Excel. Um, if you got an Excel, uh, Excel 365 Microsoft um, Office, you can you can download you can use this uh, particular um, budget thing. So I'm gonna flip it around, flip the screen around. As you can see, it's, it, it, it's, it's already calculated for you. The, form, the, the format is already there. You just have to know how to input the You just not really know how, how to put the information in. You just input the information and it tells you. So personally, you got a personally monthly budget, all right? And then here you got your, you got your income, whatever your income you got coming in for the month. That's the projected income that you know you're gonna bring home. And then any extra income that you that you're bringing that you're bringing in all right and that's your totally money income then here is your actual income so if it's the same if your monthly income is going to be your actual then you input the same thing all right for both for both um spots and the same thing for your um your housing so they got it broken down in, in, in different categories they got it broken out in housing they got it broken down in transportation they got it broken down by insurance, um, food, pets, if you have animals, um, personal care, you know, medical bills, hair, clothes, all that good stuff. Um, entertainment, what you like to do for entertainment, you know, um, buy DVDs, you know, not, DVDs may not be the big thing out there anymore these days. You, know, you got Netflix and all that stuff, so you can change these things to what you actually pay for and buy, okay? Um, personal loans. All right. Then your taxes, whatever your federal projected taxes are, if you know that from your check, um, actually put that stuff in there, you know. And um, if you know it's the same thing every month, then it'll it'll break down. Um, your savings for retirement, if you know what that is, okay. And then you got your investments, okay, and your charities and stuff like that and legal information if you have a business or whatnot you know you got that and whatever you're doing and they give you a break it give you a printout of your projected cost your total actual cost right and your total difference so for most people you know <clears throat> you like to pay your bills i mean for me i think it's is is ideal to pay your bills um by by weekly if you get paid by weekly pay half on the first or half on the second or third whatever you get paid and then the other half the the next two weeks that way especially if you're paying um credit cards because it, it it pays off the interest a lot faster that way if you do buy buy payments so car notes uh mortgages and stuff like that i learned that 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 cuts down on your um on your on your on your interest so Definitely do that. Try that method if you'd like. So, like for his here, you just this, this this ideal number is so 50, 55, 37 is the actual cost of that mortgage. But this, you know, if you pay it on the first and then you pay it on the fifteenth, then it covers you. You you're good. All right. It's totaling up your for the number you see here for the total. The subtotal is totaling the difference, and that's what that calculation number is coming from. Is coming from the difference okay and it just tells you um your difference so you you put your total cost up you've got a vehicle more than one you know you put your total cost then you and how much you monthly pay so if your projected cost is 450 and you pay actually 450 then that will be no difference that difference will be zero so again if you want to pay bi-weekly which give you a little extra money for as far as your payment goes and you can in the way you can do that is by your actual pay by totaling up the actual i mean the, the difference you know how much money you got left over so it which brings me back up to this screen where it says projected balance so projected balance is your actual cost okay then say for instance say this person didn't put had no extra income coming in right remove that now that person with all of that total, that person is at a negative $260 for that month. So, and say if he had extra income and he had extra, say, $250. And 
and he knows that's going to be as projected and he knows he's going to put that in that's going to be in there now he's still in the negative right based on this format of this, these numbers that's in the system that person's still in the negative so he only negative for a 12 so the the way to fix that i mean he can go out and sell something if you got uh you know something in his house that he's going to be falling short because he's behind this amount of money whatever the case may be then he can put that in and and go sell that and then deposit it and then he can go back up here and change his actual income um to say 272 what that is quick max 79 um 262 right so if he just put in 262 right and 262 actual cost He's down 79 cents so again i mean then if you put that 70 i'm just put an even 263 and show you guys how that will look if he just put in 263 and he found a couple three found two dollars laying on the set so he'll be a positive 21 cents going into his next pay period um and this is like i said this is half so his his until his next pay period if he do it bi-weekly his next pick next pay period he's going into that month with 21 cents so if you can earn extra income that helps out so just say you earn five hundred dollars yeah say five hundred dollars a month right that person going into every every second every bi-weekly he's going in with two hundred and thirty seven dollars and twenty one cent extra money in his pocket based on all his his needs that he said he he or she has Based on his house, his housing, things that he needs for his housing, based on his transportation. Um, again, a lot, a lot of things not filled out. You know, you got to account for maintenance. That's your, your you got to account for gas. You got to account for maintenance every every month to get your oil change and other things like that. Um, if you can't do it yourself, but it's still that 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 price comes into play. You know, when you do every every three to six months, you, you're changing your oil or whatnot. Then you have your health insurance if you do that you know um then you add those numbers in and you just play around with it again this can be found through microsoft office um just go to um just show you real quick let's get out of here so microsoft office right here um it comes at the top you got your it breaks down for you it comes up with a blank workbook then you got your personal budgets and that one right there it says personal monthly budget you click on that one or you can look at more templates and they have different different drop downs for different things different other templates that you can use that can help you if you're not excel savvy um building a worksheet um, a book a blank one for yourself you can just go through here and try to find one that best fit you and what you're trying to do to budget yourself for this upcoming year or in the future you know you know whether it was with your kids or yourself so i just want to bring that to you guys again it's 2020 let's save this can help your business also they got business things on here for your business as well um to help grow inventory for your businesses and stuff like that to help you track if you don't have those type of things out there so again shout out top notch printing giving you give me some valid information on budgeting see y'all happy printing let's get it